us. <laughs> no, you guys. Is that Lego Star Wars? Wait, this is one. There it is. That's a Lego Star Wars. I mean, Batman. Where am I staying? I, I'm so tired. A little something on your chin there, by the way. Is it a? Oh, are you the Last of Us? That's oh. Did are you, you, are you really Last of Us though? Yeah, it's Last of Us quicker. Uh, I crocheted it. Yes. Oh, uh, but you kind of dress as Ellie a little bit too, or? Uh, no, I'm just wearing this because I'm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it is freezing in here. That's awesome. It's freezing. It feels yeah. amazing. You like it? Okay, all right. It's so hot upstairs. I'm, I'm nipping. It's not alone. You, you. Yeah. Sorry. This must be fun for you two to see each other on, on the road and yeah. other places and not in a zombie apocalypse. And yeah. Yeah. Last yeah. time I saw you was. The, the, wait, when was the last time I saw you? I wasn't. I wasn't at the finale. Yeah, so when was the last time I saw you? No, no, I wasn't at the pre uh, premiere. What is it? What do you call it? Uh, the final uh, finale. Finale party? Yeah. No, I wasn't at that. That was yeah. in Cali. Um, I, uh, yeah, where the hell? On set, man. Was it last time I saw you? Yeah, in a whole Last year. March? <sighs> I'm walking around. Like, yeah. Damn, yeah. 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 Damn, okay, wow. Yeah. Well, it's been a while. It's been a bit. This is a magic moment. Thanks for sharing. It yeah. wasn't that magical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but whenever we see each other, it's like, I just saw you. Yeah. It's like it's like uh, when you when you play uh, the original Zelda on Nintendo, you can never turn the console off because it'll go right back to you know where you at the very beginning. But with us, we always keep the console on. You know, so you, you, when you when you turn the TV back on, we're right back where you start, where you were. You know, yeah, that's our friendship. That's exactly it. Yeah. Did that make any sense? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, I'm so going senile. Hey, don't know. So much to make a shirt out of that. That's your, yeah. I'll keep my console on for you. <laughs> that's cute, right? Who we'll buy that shirt? Oh yeah, nice. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Well, sometimes the power does go out. Why do you have to bring that up, man? <laughs> Why? Yeah, sometimes mom has to vacuum and she has to. Do you remember uh, personal trauma? I guess. <laughs> I played uh, Double Dragon so much on my Nintendo 64 that I can only play it for like 42 minutes at a time, and then I had to put it into my refrigerator <laughs> and have it cool off. Is it get so hot? Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, and I did <laughs> what is this, what I'm talking about? What is the science behind? Like, does that even do anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it does work. I mean, there is dust particles that would make it so you couldn't play early Nintendo and N64 console. It yes. just it would work after a while. You have to blow it, and that would work both fine. Yeah. Well, the saliva increased the connection. Is that what it is? Is that what yeah. it is? Really, I have a game they did that's... science. I swear to God, they did science. Damn, is that what it is? I have yeah. a game that's like literally in a case, <laughs> yeah, and, and it won't work unless you blow one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she said saliva. <laughs> <laughs> like so that should be a shirt. Saliva increases the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, okay. So John Brown was <laughs> Oh Marty, do you do it? <laughs> have you guys heard this guy? Have you heard this Christopher Lloyd? Have you heard this? He does the best Christopher Lord and Michael J. Fox. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. What are you talking about? Oh, Lord! You gotta lick it to make sure that... You gotta lick it that we got the connection to go along. Oh, gosh. You want me to lick that? What you say, Doc? Hey. Tell me. I Did you guys see the Broadway show with the Back to the Future? <coughs> the Broadway show? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's come to Broadway, but I saw it. I saw it in London, and then, and, and, and wow. Is it good? Oh, there's amazing parts in it because you know they go all, all out. With some of the special effects, and yeah. but they take out, you know, the Libyans. They take out that part. <laughs> There's no ah. Libyans. No Libyans. Who's so Libyans? how does he? So how? Uh, what should I spoil this? Yes. 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 I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is, how, I guess. The, how does he? How does Doc die? Yeah. Right. 
Um, and it's, it's, uh, Marty is just all, whoa, Doc, you forgot to wear your gloves. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, you're right, Marty. And then he starts glowing. And he's uranium poisoning? Plutonium poisoning. Plutonium, wait, he dies of radiation. Oh, run, Marty, I'm glowing. <laughs> Oh, Doc, I better go to the future. Yeah. That's so much more messed up than the so shot by Olivia. So messed up. Wow. Doc, in the future, please wear your gloves. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, that's just a very sorry. pretty messed up. Ooh. Sorry, kids. Okay. <laughs> and so he's, like, dying for years in a hospital bed, like Chernobyl style, or what? <laughs> no, he's melting on screen before. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, what? Makeup, no, I'm not gonna see that low here. He's like, starts like, it's like, the actor he starts shrinking, like, kind of like, ah, oh, 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 what a world. And he's going to green. Jesus, it's real. Is this real? I swear. Oh, wow. What? Right, I wouldn't make that up. Has anyone seen this? You can't sit still. What? You will. It's coming to Broadway, it's gonna be, you can just get to that part and you're gonna probably piss your pants. That's what I did. I'm just laughing my ass off and little ah, ah, and I'm just like, did, did, did the people doing it do a good Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox impression? For real, yes. Oh, good. And the guy that was um, Crispin Glover was amazing with the hand and everything. Wow. <sighs> so good. Yeah, the performances were like, <laughs> You didn't know that you were coming to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a Walking Dead panel. This is Back to the Future, the play. Yeah, all Back to the Future. <laughs> to, loosely, back to, the to loosely bring it back, so you have obviously have other hidden talents. Speaking of Broadway, I mean, a, a Tony, I mean, congrats. That's amazing. Like, wow. Wow. So, <laughs> I like to sing a song. <laughs> and then speaking of the impressions and, and things, I mean, both of you are very, very talented in that department. And having worked, Ross is like, worked together, was there like really? a lot of those moments just riffing, sitting, waiting, uh, waiting for them to turn the camera around, and you're sitting there just having a conversation as, with Doc Brown and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Or how'd, that, how'd that work out? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, because you watch a show and like, Aaron's so serious, you know, they're like, where are, the, where are the walkers? And then like, uh, and then on set, we're just like doing silly impressions. <laughs> the, the best was when me, Dan, and Cooper, who plays Jerry, were together because we'd all eventually devolve into either Chris Walken or Donald Trump or some variation of Al Pacino. And it was just fun to see, especially because he does like, the most spot on Al Pacino I think I've ever heard, and and, <laughs> I, don't know. and I, I do just like, oh, okay, here we are, and it just turns into Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> but he does, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> it's that's the best to be like in the horde and just like, but like making Pacino sounds. Yeah. <laughs> so what was so, yeah. Oh. Oh! Oh! Wait, that's all I'm gonna eat your face. That was Christopher Lloyd. What would it look like if, you know, say Donald Trump was to show up in Scarface? What would that look like? He asked for it. He's brought it up. Listen, listen, it would be wonderful. It would be the most amazing, amazing movie, believe me. He would pull out a mountain of cane. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not. I didn't even let me. I do apologize. See, it upsets people. I get it. But uh, you pull out a mountain of cocaine, okay? And he would do the entire thing, believe me, because he's not afraid to do a mountain of cocaine, okay? Believe me. It'd be terrific. Really, really terrific, okay? Yeah. He would build yeah. no, no Pacino, I guess, in this case. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were together. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. You were trying to... Yeah, oh, they were so... Hot car! Who would have been left? Oh, okay. Because no, no, you, you can do the Cuban uh, Scarface Pacino really well. I can do it a little, a little bit. It's good. Yeah. So should I be Donald Trump trying to procure cocaine from you, or...? Yes! Is that what you want? Yes. Okay, so Tony, they tell me that you're the guy to talk to. I heard you can move a lot of product. What do you got for me, baby? I got big balls. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. That's how we do it. That's it. Do Walter White. Oh, man. Oh, well... Should I ask that? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> to, get, to get back on, on topic here, we have a lot of, uh, this is a Walking Dead panel. We have a lot of Walking Dead fans. No, this is a Walking Dead yeah, panel. Yeah. <laughs> And to stick with the theme, the microphone is completely dead in the aisle, so oh, that is absolutely useless. You just so so do you want to, you can either talk in the, the Walking Dead mic. Yes, Lego Batman. Yeah. <laughs> or just yell a question I mean, as loud as you can. I, I guess I don't really have a uh, question, but... I was talking to Lego Batman, sir. Lego Batman is on loud. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. You, so, oh, wait, wait, listen to what he said. What did you say? Well, just call out. I mean, I think yeah, the microphone. Fine. They told me the mic is dead, right? So oh, we just, we're just gonna dead. So we're just dead. call out like you were so doing. I, so. I, yeah, you're doing good. Why are you drinking that right now? I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> if you can uh, do your um, thing from Jurassic <clears throat> Beast, where you're like, oh, that's yeah. That's if, if you can do that for us. Convenient segue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are you doing? I have not seen it, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, this is good. I'm just playing. So in the movie, um, in the first one, there's a stuff called Giggle Water. And they're handing it out to all of the, in the speakeasy, to all the wizards, and I'm a muggle. And we decided that whenever I, whenever muggles take a shot of Giggle Water, they giggle. Okay, so I'm like in this scene, I'm trying to be serious, and <laughs> I take a shot. <laughs> but did the, did the wizards giggle too? When they, no. Why is it called giggle water? Or else water? everyone would be freaking giggling all over. But is, why is it called giggle water? Is it just for muggles that giggle? Or I don't um, understand. It's just for... Uh, that is an excellent question. No one's ever asked me that. <laughs> I mean, I'll ask JK next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'd like to know. But anyway, yeah, you're yeah. fine. Uh, next subject. Good, all right. Good. Thank you for that. There was another one I, I thought a question. Yeah, you're Lots, right there. Go Lots. ahead. Can you do an impression of Negan? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see that piece of it? You're not a, there's kids in here, I gotta be. Are there kids? There are no kids. Kids left. They ran away from me. Yeah. 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 I will shut that shit down. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Did they know that you were like, that you were Brad Pitt in oh, AstraZeneca? What was it called? Ad Astra. What the hell was it called? Ad Astra. Yeah. Ad Astra. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, sometimes the actors don't want to do their own ADR, which is additional dialogue for a movie because it got recorded improperly or there was more lines they needed to get after the fact. And a lot of times I did Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Norman's voiceover for the show, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, bro, you gotta be paying me extra for this, this is ridiculous, I'm like doing their, you know. But uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes actors aren't available because they're going through stuff personally or whatever, and I've gotten a chance to play some people and... Major. Yeah, it's been fun, yeah. It's a weird, it's a weird industry, it's like Hollywood's dirty little secret, you know, or one of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you... Can... What's that? No, I'm interviewing you. Oh yes. That's how you. That's how you got your. That's how you got your role as uh, the Red Skull because you could do the voice. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. They asked if I did a Hugo Weaving impression, and I, I said, "Which Hugo?" Because he does. That's like the master of accents, you know. Yeah. And they said a German one, and I'm like, "Oh, like Red Skull." And they're like, "Well, we can't really say." And I didn't know what it was until I got to set. That's how secretive Disney and Marvel is. They don't tell you anything. And that was a, that was a fun time. Yeah. You doing any Marvel stuff? And? You uh, in the Marvel world? And? 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 You I, should. I weigh? And? I want to. Who would you play? Who would you play? Um, that is a good freaking question, dude. In Marvel? Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, the thing was up for grabs for a second, but that got scooped up. Yeah. Um, I, uh... Maybe like Puck in Alpha Flight or something. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, because I get to hang out with Wolverine. Yeah, dude. Okay, so do you know who I want to play? Who? Uh, Omega Red. Yeah. Oh shit. Dude. And like, oh, 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 God, yeah. I mean, I feel like because who who knows Omega Red? Anybody? Oh hell yeah. Okay, good. He's like Russia's answer to Wolverine, and he's absolutely insane. He's fused with adamantium, but he can shoot out adamantium tentacles from his wrists, and they can strangle people and shock them to death. He's a total badass, and I feel like he never gets enough love from the comics, I don't know why, but I really feel like seeing Wolverine versus Omega Red would be an amazing movie. And Alpha Flight 
the Canadian X Men essentially. What do you call them? Yes. Yeah. 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 They're they got this character named Puck who's a badass. You find they put Wolverine on like too much merchandise. No. Think, no, I don't. Do you think? No, I sure don't. You think it's Wolverine on too many things? It's just there. You can't escape it. You really can't. Jeez, sometimes it's you look in the mirror and there he is. I know. I know. You know who's also a cool character that they haven't explored yet is Rick Jones, who's like yeah. Bruce yeah. Banner's buddy, who, who like he's the one that goes on. He's the one that. Um, Dr. Banner saves, you know, gets him into the thing and he absorbs all the gamma radiation. Oh. That would be a cool way to, you know, cool rap hole go down because Rick later becomes holed out. Oh, so really? So you, you get to be like this cool, like, sidekick, but then you get to be all hulked out. Oh, snap. Is that the. He's the blue, blue Hulk, I, I believe, right? Oh, Blue Hulk. Okay. He's a blue, blue Hulk. He's green for He's an abomination? No, or? his name's A Bomb. I believe. Oh, is that what he is now? He is. He is. So. Oh, wow. Right. So he's got a whole thing. <laughs> I think we get hell of a, bo a booster gold, man. Like <laughs> Dude, booster gold. No. 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 <laughs> no I don't have fun one. Yeah. No I mean, whatever. I, you know, I love it. Whatever they, whatever they. You should be uh, nomad. Oh shit. Yeah. You get the hair for it. <laughs> you know, be on motorcycle. Am I thinking of Nomad? Nomad, right? Yeah. There's the, yeah. Like a, the, the motorcycle. He's kind of like Johnny Blaze a little bit, but like he has like That's the long right. No, I know, but uh, Nomad is who I'm like. Yeah, I know Nomad. Yeah, he had a nomad? shotgun. Yeah, yeah shotgun. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he always had like a, a teddy bear. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, I think it's Nomad. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Rick Grimes. Anyway, back to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the king of bringing it back. I have ADD, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not, okay. Go ahead. I just wanted to know what's your favorite. Wait a minute, how many questions have been asked? Like, two, three. Everyone raise your hands who asked a question. You asked a question. And you got, so here, who wants a Fantastic Beast thing or. Everyone asked a question gets one of these. Alright. So. Okay, so come up, line up, if you ask the question. Appreciate it, bro. I got a question. Here, which one do you want? Okay, grab it. And come to the table, and I'll sign it for free. To my right. You want that? What do you want one of these guys? Okey dokey. Thank you. Find them. Was that everybody? Okay, well, no, wait, wait, we got a question. I ain't doing that. Wait, 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 wait. You asked the question. Wait, yeah. oh, you guys I have asked. a question. No, the guy oh, wait, he was, gonna, he was in the middle of asking Yeah, whoever. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I just want to know what your favorite Walking Dead episode is. Of all time. For me, it's The Grove. The Look at the Flowers episode. Where Carol likes to take other girls. Because that, that, it's only four people. You know, Tyrese, Carol, and the two girls. And that, that gets to like the core of what the show is really all about. It's about chosen family, you know, and like picking the people that really lift you up and you feel like, this, this could be my people, you know? And then choosing to, to, to embrace them and then just see where these adventures go. And it was so beautiful in the beginning until the older one went little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and <laughs> killed her sister. But you know, it's, it's a great episode, yeah. Did you guys get a thing? You want something here? Here's, and it freaking works. <laughs> uh, I wish on a star, pick a star out before every New Year's, and I'm like, you know, this year, come on, I need a little help here. And that year, it was, um, I got my second daughter coming into the world, and I was like, beautiful, great. beautiful. Thank you. And I was like, she's coming into the world, I need a miracle here. And, um, and then so like literally a month later, I got that audition. So I, I, I asked for, I was like, there's so many franchises. My, I love Star Wars. I was like, there's so many franchises. I'll be like, you know, I, I, I'll be like a, 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 a Wookiee. I don't care. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, and cool to be tall, actually. But, um, you know, I was like, whatever. But then I got, I was like, okay, I'll take that franchise, man. That's, you know, and so that whole experience was, was magic. And then, then walking on set, seeing that they built, you know, Manhattan, they built it. I went, I came from New York, and I landed in New York. <laughs> I was like, in L.A. or where were you? In, in Leeson, in uh, London. Oh, in London. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I can go on and on how the whole experience—it's just 
the craziest thing is my great grandfather was a baker. Fogler's famous punk pumpernickel was a thing on the stand. It's <laughs> standing in Remington, the same freaking street that's in the movie. <laughs> okay, how like that's what so kind of? Cool. That's some synchronicity. Did, did they bit. talk to you about that ahead of time? I mean, that's no, no, too. That's magic. That's no, magic. No, I turned to my dad. I was like, Dad, I got the part. He's like, You know, your you know your, your great grandfather was a baker. I was like, What are you fucking talking? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally got to like like step into his shoes and kind of. It's like a time machine. Oh, so great. So uh, you want this one with the baker? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where's your baker? There you go. Here's your baker. Okay, let's, uh, okay, there was one in the back. Yeah, sure. The volunteer orange shirt. Go ahead. What's your question? Uh, well, this question actually kind of um, combines both the offer and the Walking Dead. Um, so um, Dan, what is your handles for Francis Ford Coppola? How... Would you think that Prince Portola would direct the scene? Um. From The Walking Dead. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> it would be it would be apocalypse. Wow. <laughs> and it would be freaking right. Yeah. It would just be like they call in the army. <laughs> And, uh, and it's the same guys from Apocalypse now. <laughs> yeah. And they're just all like, I love the sun, I love the smell of zombies in the morning. <laughs> zombies don't surf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zombies don't surf. No zombies, dude! <laughs> but dude, there's new kind of zombies that are surfing now. <laughs> Surf zombies. <laughs> Ooh, surf zombies. <laughs> I watched that. I would watch the shit out of that movie. <laughs> Who would watch surf zombies? Oh my god, I just came up with the best okay. movie idea ever. Ross. 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 You heard it. The sci-fi channel. They would make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It would be like Sharknado. Yeah, of course. Perfect. So we have time for a couple more questions better, only, so let's, better. I don't know, ask us, go ahead, right in the front, ask a question. Did someone ask a question? Did you hear both of you, um, yeah. there's a specific scene that like really grossed you out? Grossed you out? Like, yeah, yeah. the top one that grossed you out. On The Walking Dead? Yeah. <laughs> I mean like, seeing Glenn's head smashed in, <laughs> that was kind of gross. Um, he's okay though, right? I know, I'm uh, like, uh, no, no, no. Why are you even doing this? God. Get out of here, you know. Um, it was funny because, like, I, I often talk about this because, like, it was sad as hell because we're losing two of our favorite characters in the show and two people that I love working with. Um, but, you know, the, the special effects on that show was so amazing. Like, Greg Nicotero and his team do such a great job of really selling it. And his eyeball was dangling like six inches from his eye, from his eye socket. Because it's like once it gets, you know, it's like in the comics, his eyeball is smashed out and then it's like dangling. And so this, it's like dangling with a, with a bit of sinewy tissue from the eye, eyeball, the eye socket. And it reminded me of those paddle balls you play with your kid. Because <laughs> <laughs> his head was moving and the eyeball was going boom, boom, boom. I was like, Stephen, I'm going to literally throw up if you don't just stop moving your head so much. I love how, you know, evocative you are with your hands and everything. I was just like, just be still, be still, because I'm going to throw up. And uh, that was probably the grossest thing I ever saw on the show, yeah. yeah. Wow. How about you? Oh, the grossest thing I ever saw on the show. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know what the gr on the TV show while I was watching it, and then having, and then Seth Gilliam described it. He was like, "Oh man, you're about to." Uh, he was, <laughs> Seth was telling me like, "Here's some like things you gotta watch out for if you're, <laughs> you're getting eaten by zombies. So <laughs> make sure you're not under the zombie." Because <laughs> all this like stuff oh, is coming out of yeah. his own. So there's this, that scene, the scene where he gets his eye all funky, right? <laughs> and he's like under the thing, and like the, the thing's like, basically like... It's saliva, right? Salivating into onto his face, and the way that, the way, yes. See? It's Full saliva. circle! Ah, oh, say we are paying back in time! <laughs>
Well, unfortunately, we only have time for like one, maybe one more question, and then we did, uh, just a reminder: these guys are here, uh, you know, the rest of the weekend. So make sure you can see with the table and whatnot. So what, what do we think? What do we think? I mean, I think we can do a couple. We, we do a couple more. Okay, it's, up, it's your your call. We can do a couple more. Okay. Let me oh, say. Okay, let's see what, the backwards hat right there in the middle aisle. Go ahead. Yep. Hey. Uh, not that I can talk about, not that I can say, but it, basically what they said was they're going to see how well the spin-offs do first, and if those do well, then they might bring back people. You know, yes. So. Nice. You become like a main character. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I've been pushing for a, a show where it's like Aaron and his daughter, and they're off in like Peru somehow. Because if Daryl can wind up in France, <laughs> which is motorcycle fly all of a sudden, what the hell? I'm like, if he can wind up there, surely we can make our way, because it's actually landlocked, down into South America. Because I really want to, I love Peru, yeah, yeah. and I just want to shoot something in Peru. Yeah. And I think it would be fun to see, like, father-daughter taking on zombies. And he's, it's like old man Logan, so I'm like in my late 60s. And, you know, she's growing up, but she's, maybe she's missing an arm too. And we're like all cybernetic and stuff. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe like we learn how to build like cyborg bodies. That's kind of what I want to do. Yeah, exactly. I think you should catch that with a chain. Catch that. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Futuristic zombie killers. I've watched that show. Right. Write it down. I'm right to We invented 17 shows today. And by the way, if you love bad movies. Troll 2 is obviously one you gotta watch, but Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Hard Ticket to Hawaii should be at the top of all of your lists, I'm just saying. And and Silent Night, Deadly Night. Yes. And Chopping Ball. Spider-Man. Come here, man. You, speaking of other, other projects, any other you know current upcoming projects we're allowed to talk about or we want to talk about, or is that all, that's all secrets? Well? Invincible Season 2 and 3 are basically wrapped up from a recording standpoint. We're just waiting on the animators, but we'll be oh, doing a panel shit. at San Diego in a few weeks to talk about when that can actually come out. But I can't talk about the other stuff I'm working okay. on. It's all NDA City. What about you? You all NDA City too? NDA City? Uh, what can I talk about? Um... I'm developing an animated show for my books called Moon Lake, and this guy's gonna do a couple thousand voices in it. Hell yeah! Um, I did a I did a show uh, called Eric um, with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch that's gonna be on Netflix, um, which is really cool, man. It's like you dig it. It takes place in the '80s. Dude, I auditioned for that. Did you? <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, dude. What part did you audition? Uh, his partner. Did you, did you get the part? Dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so this is funny because I auditioned That's for Lex. That's fucking hilarious. Lex Luthor I auditioned for last year, and it was one of the best auditions I've done. Like, I felt really good about it. I was like, man, I really think I might have a chance at this Lex Luthor. And then he didn't get the part, and then I, I, it was announced on Deadline a few months ago that Michael Cousins got it. Abraham, and I was like, oh god, if you gotta lose a part, it's best to lose it to a friend, but that's awesome, man, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm so Did, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> you find out. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's a good part, too. It's, 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 it's a very really entertaining. This great, is a very great. entertaining, I bet. <laughs> best QA at the end. Yeah. Uh, who asked that's that the question? Bad. Uh, someone. God damn it! My memory is out the window after yeah, all this. I think this. you already uh, got your. Do we? Yeah. You already got one. Okay. Oh, now we're just doing the same old people again. Oh, glasses, white shirt, right there. Go ahead. Yes. Hey, hey. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't a new person that asked the question. No, that wasn't new. Person. That was you was... again. I haven't asked the question. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who asked? This has become a who's on first. <laughs> it was the I have a question I asked. I might ask that as a follow-up to someone else's question. I think that's the problem. That was a follow-up oh. question to someone. Would you like oh, something here? Yeah, I would yeah, love that. Uh, what would you want? Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Look at that. You take both of them. Oh, oh my god. Hey, wow. You're doing a great job. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, there was the one. yeah glasses white out there. Yeah. Um, what was the best part of working with uh, the cast from Falls of Fury? Ooh. Oh, dude, uh, he's got some stories. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, damn. Tell, tell a story about working <laughs> with Christopher Walken. So Chris, I mean, there's like a billion of them. 
Holy crap. This dude can pick through four stories. The best part is... Oh, I can't tell that I story. I can't tell that story. <laughs> the best part is, uh, is working with Chris. I mean, I just, I just asked him stuff. Okay, I'll tell this story where I first met him. Okay? Because this is, this is PG. So, um, no, no, not, not that story. No, 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 no. That's a story. There's only a couple of stories that I can actually tell to audiences. So, um, first time I met him, uh, the director, who's seen Balls of Fury? Anyone seen Balls of Fury? Okay, no people. So, um, uh, <laughs> there, we're in like the um, pre-production period and everyone's coming on set and, you know, meeting everybody and they're trying different like outfits and, and wigs on people. And, um, and I don't know if you, my hair was like, like crazy. I looked like it was in a, you know, a heavy metal band and, and I, I looked nuts. And, and then I had uh, like short shorts and like a rhinestone jacket. I looked nuts. And then he, they bring me over to Chris and they're trying different wigs on him. He's got this like crazy <laughs> you know, giant bouffant wig with like a, like a giant braid with like a hook at the end of it. And he's got these different like, you know, like uh, velvety genie pajama pants he's trying on, but he's watching ping pong. He was like, he loves ping pong. Like that's why he, like, he's like, that's why I signed up for the movie because he just loves ping pong. And uh, so he's watching the ping pong match and he's like, I got next, you know. <laughs> and then Ben walks up and he says, hey, you know, this is Dan. And he shakes my hand, and, I, and, I, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm meeting Chris Walken. I don't know, I have no idea what to say. I'm just like, how do I? And, and Chris, like, senses that. And he goes, you know, Dan, <laughs> this isn't my real hair. <laughs> and then I don't know what the hell to say, so I'm just like, <laughs> you know, Chris, <laughs> This isn't my real hair. <laughs> and then he goes, no way! <laughs> and he starts like trying to pull it. <laughs> and I'm like, no way it is, it is. He goes, wow! <laughs> Dan, never tell anyone it's not your real hair. <laughs> when it's your real hair. <laughs> he goes back to watching a big <laughs> Um, Yeah, so that was the first uh, time I met him. You want a thing? Yeah. All right, wow. Okay, <laughs> let's jerk your hand with that. Let's go ahead, what's your question first? You son of a... How good did your ping pong skills get uh, from that, or was a lot of... Olympic grade. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I had a really mean forehand, like my, my fucking reflexes were That's crazy. <laughs> uh, my serve was okay. But the best part was that... <laughs> We were being taught, my trainer was um, a ping pong Olympic winning bronze medalist team, husband and wife team, who were there to train us and make sure our form was correct because everything was CGI. So we just had to, um, but the funniest thing is that they knew all the timing of you know, any distance of any ball hit, you know, anywhere. So they would be off camera while we were hitting nothing, going ping. Pump. Pink. Pump. And we just hate it whenever they said ping or pump. And it would just, this is, if you were watching that, you'd be like, what is this crazy movie? Pink. Pump. Pink. Pink. So who has that? You. I'm talking to you. All right, with our red Spider Man shirt, go ahead. Yeah, Yeah, this is for both of you. I was curious if you guys. Do you want to think? Read the, uh, oh, he's got it. I'm going to make him walk all the way over here. Yeah. yeah. So what the deviation between the two? I didn't know if you guys had any like, preferences or anything stuck out for you. The question was about the graphic novel, whether we read it when we got the part. And I, I was asking Scott Gimple, who was our showrunner at first, like, should I read this? What, what, should we, what should we do? And he said, yeah, this is a great. Uh, platform and blueprint for, for us to work from. So he's like, beg and borrow and steal as much as you want from the comics. Like, by all means, take it and, and infuse that into the character. But at the end of the day, he's like, just make it your own. Which I thought was really nice that he gave us that freedom. You know? Did you, you, you read the comics before, you know, right? Yeah, I love the comics. Yeah. Like, I, that's how I started uh, getting into the world. And so that when the show came on, I, I couldn't watch it unless it, I, it was in black and white. I turned the color off. <laughs> Because like, the comic book's in black and white. You what? So, <laughs> you made the show black and white? Yeah, I turned the hue off or whatever. To, 
You know, Are you I'm serious? Like, yeah, they're watching in black and white. Why? It's <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> Is it really? Okay. Yeah. All right. See? Okay. All right. You're, you're, yeah, raise your hand up in the back. Okay, go ahead. Um, who does, uh, why do they, how do they decide how people, when people die? Like, it seems like you got to oh. and then you kill it off. And the last time I saw the tiger, but yeah. That's how they do it. Totally random. They, they typed it into a computer, and it, uh, it was the Randomizer 3000. They typed it in, and then they, they, they knew. They had to kill these people based on computer programming. It's amazing. We live in a very interesting time, okay? The future is now, people, okay? AI, be very scared of it. Be very scared. That's how it happens. Yeah. Okay, we have time for what do you think? Wait, one, one more question? What do you, what do you, yeah. Yeah. you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, right there in the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I, did you get killed by Hannibal? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, cool. Matt, how did he kill you? How did he kill you? I haven't Matt seen it. Matt walks up behind me and just like snaps my neck. And then, could, then like, I fall to the floor and then he fights uh, this other guy over me. Well, I'm just on the floor. Like, does he eat your brains? No, no, he spares my brains. I think he's, I don't think he's like, respectful. Yeah, he's just like, he, he won't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was assaulted. Well, no, I, uh, be chocolate or mint? No, what he, what's crazy is that he, I, am I, what did you say? It would be chocolate or mint. <laughs> I mean, right, or tofu. Right, we already established it. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, my brain, my head shows up, which is, I'm very proud of this. Franklin's head shows up in the jar in uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. He, he's a jump scare in Silence of the Lambs. So my severed head is a jump scare. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you very much! <laughs> do, you, do you have an impression of Buffalo Bill? Wow. <laughs> well, no, that was like... <laughs> that's well, Jeff Bridges, he. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Dr. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill is so dark. It puts the lotion on its skin. It puts the lotion on its skin. Yikes. Yeah, it gets the hose to go. Don't you hurt my dog. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's had a weird visceral reaction. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the best way to end a buffalo. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait the Mads Mikkelsen on the... Uh, oh, you didn't even answer yeah. the freaking question. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Working on the first one with Mads, I was like, whoa, he's had a lector. And so I'm doing my lines, and the, you, if you watch the show, you have these, these long, beautiful, circuitous monologues. And I'm in this scene with him, and he's just, you know, <laughs> just watching me. You know, the whole scene, and I'm just talking about cheese and opera. And I'm just like, holy crap. And, and I finally, the first time I get through the first monologue, I was so proud of myself. That I, I literally, I couldn't help it. I would just call him. I was like, yeah! And I threw my leg up in the air. And then he just like, <laughs> he saw that. He was like, wait, 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 what, what, was, what was that? And I was just like, I don't know, man, I'm just so excited. <laughs> and I got through that monologue. He was like, very good. We will do that every time you get it right. And so every time I got the bubble, he and I would just look at each other and go, yeah! <laughs> so when I saw him on Fantastic Beasts, I was like, my good friend. You know, it, it was tough because that was a crazy situation. I was glad that he came in. That was a very diplomatic way of saying that. Would you like a picture? <laughs> well, we, we covered the, the, the every year. Wow, we've had uh, Nintendo cartridges to tofu brains to a Buffalo Bill impression at one point, which was very soon. That was a pretty good impression. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty damn good. He's amazing. Oh. <laughs> well, if you guys want more, I mean, they are here all weekend, but for now, I think we have to uh, we have to call it on our, our Not So Walking Dead panel. But we, it was like 10%. It counts. Yeah, it okay. totally counts. It counts. All right. Well, Anybody that got a picture, come to the table tomorrow. I'll sign it for free. You're here. Give it up for 10%.